I'm a maniac, maniac, hello, welcome. All right, so what I have here is t equals negative three pi over four. And what I wanna do is show you how to find that point on the unit circle. So first thing I always notice is it's negative, right? And when I notice that problem's negative, I always like to kind of write out and say, okay, don't forget, you're gonna go in the negative direction. Because a lot of times we get so used to always going in the positive direction, we need to remember that the measurement's going to still be the same, but it's just in the negative direction. So we know we're dealing with the unit circle. Halfway around the unit circle is pi. But um, since we're breaking up into force, pi is a whole, but we're going to break it up into four parts of the whole, right? One force, two force, three force, four force, all right? So it says negative three pi over four. Well, that's one pi over four, two pi over four, negative three pi over four. So that's going to be my terminal side, as this is my initial side. Now I just need to see what does this point relate to? Well, that is a direct reflection of this point over here. And what is that point? Well, if this is 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth, that means this distance is going to be 1 fourth. That means that distance is 1 fourth, or pi over 4, I should say. So what angle here is pi over 4 away? Well, that's going to be this point over here. So this point is square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. Well, now I have that exact same point in the third quadrant. So what's going to change as far as my values for x and y? And in the third quadrant, it's important for you to know that the x and the y coordinate are both going to be negative. So that's going to be negative square root of 3 over <laughs> negative square root of 3. Negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your coordinate point at the angle, negative 3 pi over 4. Thanks.